Greetings all. I am at the Ontario Regiment Museum in Oshawa. I'm standing in front of an M4A2 76 HVSS with Mike. Mike is the vehicle lead, team lead for this specific Sherman. You got two of them here, Bar and Billy. Billy. Who named them? Um, actually, the uh, Bart is actually named after a, uh, a character that uh, was a member here years ago. Uh, his name was Bart, and so kind of in honor of him, they named him, named this tank Bart. Uh, Billy is named after, uh, because that tank belongs to Al Duffy, is named after his grandfather. So how, how much fun do you have actually maintaining uh, a 70-year-old vehicle? It's a love-hate uh, relationship. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, my, my big fascination with them as well is uh, we're part of a group of, of uh, mechanics that we, that we call uh, BLD, Big Loud and Dirty. If it's Big Loud and Dirty, that's where we're attracted to it. I've always had a fascination with the Sherman, so when I came here, this was the vehicle. I said this is going to be the vehicle that I'm going to end that up on. That was your target? That was my target. What's the most challenging part about keeping it running? The engine, the transmission, or just something really obscure you wouldn't think about? It, you know what? It's a full circle. Uh, the, the big thing is, what we recently with this tank is, is um, we just did a refresh on the engines. So this age, they need to have a little love and affection. Our big concern this year over the winter was the, uh, being a two-stroke diesel, they, they can't aspirate themselves, so they have to have a, a blower on them, which looks like a supercharger on a muscle car. And as age comes along, the seals in them will start to deteriorate, and they'll actually leak oil, which means they'll produce their own fuel, and you can have a runaway. And which is a terrifying thing where you start the, start the engine and it'll go a million RPM for about a minute and then it'll be all over. So she's proven to be a fairly reliable runner for you? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the one thing about this, you know, these tanks in particular is, uh, we, you know, when, when they came military as trainers, that's exactly what they were. So right up, you know, until the, the early 70s, when they went to the reserve force, you had like, like 16, 17 year old kids that didn't know how to drive a standard, learn how to drive on this tank. And this is still the original tranny yeah. in this tank. They built them like iron horses. They're, they're, they're really, really good. See, what's the last longer, you with the Sherman? <laughs> uh, that's a loaded question, but uh, I, that, this, this Sherman will be around for quite a while. Quite a while. Much appreciated. This was Mike and Bart. Take care.